In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a bottom door sweep on an exterior door. And we're going to do it right now. If you take a look at the bottom of my exterior door here, you'll see that there is a door sweep. These pieces right here, you can see all these individual pieces. That is your door sweep. And the whole point of it is it goes tight against the threshold right here and that prevents air from coming in cold air hot air your cold air escaping in the summertime and it will stop bugs and all that stuff this one looks great it's nice and tight but if you take a look at my other door on the bottom where the door sweep should be it's there but it's missing pieces so on this door when you close it it is not nice and tight on the bottom against that threshold. In fact, you can see daylight. I'm gonna jump ahead in the video just a little bit and you'll see that I have a new door sweep on here. But I wanted to show you what was happening and the reason for my old one failing. So I was using this boot tray as kind of a doorstop. I would sit it in here so that my son wouldn't open and close the door a thousand times. So as I did that, these pieces were rubbing up against the boot tray and you can see it's really tight. And over time, just individually, these pieces just started falling off. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're using some kind of doorstop or something, just be careful because it can damage this and you might end up having to replace it. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. I'm not gonna show you just this installation. I'm gonna show you a bunch of options and then I'll show you how to install the one that I installed. The first option to fixing this is what's called a door draft stopper. And this comes in a roll. It's basically just a flexible rubber that has double-sided tape right here. And all you have to do to install it is peel this off. This will be sticky and you just take it you don't have to do anything to the existing door sweep. You can just stick it right here, tight over here. And then on the other end, you just cut it and make it tight to this end. Now, the only thing about this that I could see being an issue is it's not gonna get as tight as I would want it to get right here as the threshold to the original door sweep is gonna be the tightest seal that you could possibly get. This is kind of on the outside of that. But the benefits to this is it's probably the least expensive and also probably the easiest to install. But will it stick forever? I don't know, especially with winters, uh, the door and that area getting colder and then getting hot in the summer, I feel like this adhesive might fail. But this is a very inexpensive option for you if you wanna try it. Next option is this right here. This is a metal piece that has a brush attached to it. And there is another option for metal with a piece of rubber attached to it. And all you do is cut it to length, cut it with a hacksaw and install it like this. Now, the only downside with this that I see you attach it with screws. You have to put screws into your door. Not really a big deal, but right here, you're gonna have not so good of a seal. And if you wanted to seal it up like this, the only problem with that is once you open the door, this is gonna be a major hazard for cutting your foot. But this is definitely an option. Next option I think is a really great one. This is a slide on vinyl door bottom and it's very similar to the original that was there. So the cool thing about this is you don't have to do a whole lot of work. With the door, you can just open it up. In most cases, you will have to remove the old door sweep from the door, which I'll show you how to do later in the video. But all you have to do, put it like this and slide it on. I'm not gonna actually cut this because I'm not going to use it. Make sure it's up nice and tight and install the screws right here. So great option right there, but I am going to do something a little different. The last option that I'm going to talk about and the one that I'm actually going to install 
are one of these. The reason I say one of these is because I think that this style is in there right now, but if I'm wrong, this is a universal. So this is a Stanley type that is very close to the original that was there, might be the original, and then you have the universal that is also very similar. So in order to install these though, you need to take the door off, which is what I'm gonna do now. So to take the door off, I'm just gonna pop these hinges out with a nail set. flathead screwdriver nice and easy do that to all three now I'm gonna take this door out and put it somewhere flat so I can work on it now we're gonna investigate what type of door sweep this is and that is what was happening to all of these pieces on the inside. So I'm gonna take my screwdriver, just try and peel this away. And as you can see, it is that Stanley type. I'm just gonna pull it out like this. like that. So I'm just going to compare my new sweep to the old sweep. You can see it's the same style. It's the same width and it has these little pieces that go into the track on the door. So first thing I want to do is cut this to length. I'm just going to cut it the same length so it's the size of the door and it's not overhanging at all. So I can take my tin snips Make a mark right here on this side. It's going to make a mark where it needs to be cut. You just want to go easy with these tin snips. You don't want to break this apart. And I'm going to cut these straight down like this. Don't worry if it's not perfect with those. And I'm just going to fold this a little bit like that so I can get my tin snips in there. Cut that off. Pretty good. So now I'm going to cut these back like this, just so I have plenty of room right here. You see that they're not going to work right here, so I just want to cut it back about here. So I take my tin snips and something like this, and then I can take a knife and just carefully score this like that and I should be able to bend it and break it off like that do the same thing with this one bend it just like that I might need to clean this up a little bit just so it sits nice and flat now that I've cut this and I've gotten it all set and I've attempted to install it. You kidding me? I've noticed that these pieces are way bigger than these right here. So trying to get this in uh, is not fun. So what I could do is I could open these tracks up a little bit with a knife or I could set up a router however I would want to do it. But I know that you guys probably aren't going to want to do that. And to be honest, I don't want to do that either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the universal one. And I'm going to consider this a loss just so I can show you and you guys won't have a problem with this. We're going to use the universal one and call it a day. So with this, I'm going to put this piece facing inside the house and I'm going to hook this right here. And then it's going to sit just like that but I got to cut it to length first and I'm going to make sure that my cut is going to be on the hinge side so it's somewhat hidden. So this is even with the door. I'm just going to make some marks right here, kind of a tiny bit long and then right here. 
There's more than one way to cut this, but I find this is the easiest way, and you probably have some tin snips laying around. If you don't, use a hacksaw. Cut this, match up those lines. There we go. It's gonna go just like this. I'm not gonna glue this because I'm gonna wanna be able to take it off in the future if I have to. So I'm gonna just hold this tight right here. Hold it even right here. You can use whatever nails you want to attach it. I'm gonna use these and get this nail started. Like that. I'm gonna leave that there for now and go to the other side. Now I'm gonna take my nail set so I don't mess these up too much and Hammer this nail tight. Kind of like that. So now to make sure the sweep stays in place, I'm gonna put another nail right here. So you have two nails, one on the inside of the door and towards the outside of the door. I'll do two here, two more here, here, and at the end for eight nails total. So this door sweep is obviously the most amount of work out of the options that I showed you, but it is also the closest to the original that you can get. And I wanted to show you all the options. You don't have to do any of them if you don't want to, but that's how you do it. So now we can reinstall the door. So now we can test it and make sure we did a good job. And you can see there is no gap on the bottom. You can't see daylight. And I can feel that it's making a nice seal. I wanna show you one more thing in order to make sure that seal is nice and tight. On the threshold of your door, if it's a newer door, you should have an adjustable threshold. So you see these screws right here, one here, one here, here, and here, there's four of them on this door. You can take a screwdriver, and if you go counterclockwise, it's gonna raise this threshold. So if you have a gap, this will tighten that up. And if you go clockwise, it's going to give you more room if it's too tight. So that's the final step. Just fine tune it with adjusting your threshold, and you should be good to go. Now everything's adjusted and that definitely has a nice tight seal. So that'll be good for the winter. I won't get a draft coming in and for the spring and summer, I won't have bugs going in and I won't lose my, my cold air for my AC. So I'm happy. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like it, you can click hereish and hereish and check them out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely consider it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Now we can reinstall the door. So to take, oh, I got my ring. <sighs> Whoops. The last option that I'm gonna talk about and that I'm gonna use, and you can put your weed in it.